Second. Yes, we are recording. This is the highway. <laughs> ah. yeah, Barb is not shaking the camera. The road is. This is the road. <laughs> and this is the good part. Oh. Palapa Barn Grill. What a great place this is to hang out. Have a couple of beer. I tell you, my favorite is still the pulled pork and onion rings. It is so tasty. <laughs> yeah, and I do recommend it when you go. Not if you go, when you go. I love driving down this road. There's so many beautiful flowers and plants and things by the side of the road and interesting signs, you see. This year I decided I was going to learn what I was looking at, so I brought home books on orchids and native plants and trees of Belize. There will be a slideshow of all the plants that we've seen and their actual names and not just the ones I've guessed at. Some of them have killer thorns though, so please be careful if you're cutting through somebody's garden. I'm not sure how Barb feels about this trip, but... Uh... I don't think I need to come back during Easter or spring break. There's just far too many people. I agree. I enjoy it better when it's a little calmer, a little fewer people in town. We might get a little rain if we're there earlier, but hey, it's still warmer than the pool. This is the little toll bridge into town. Public beach on the right there where most of the locals go. It's a great little place. The toll is $5 US for a round trip. It's $5 Belize per direction. They don't have a bulk rate, so it's uh, immaterial. You can't buy a, a, an annual pass for, you know, $25 type of thing. They, uh, but the people are always very, very courteous and friendly and One of the big businesses in San Pedro is actually bicycle repair. Be sure to make the Casa Pan Dolce here one of your stops for bread and sweet things. I just can't believe the traffic. This is the most traffic I've ever seen in San Pedro. Of course now, having said that, again, this is spring break and it is Easter weekend, so it's bound to be busy. On your left is the alternate beach access road, so you can get your golf cart down there and do a little more exploring. Rumor has it that there is not a bed in this town to be had anywhere. I'm sure you could probably find one if you had to. They try to educate the kids early about HIV down here. It's an unfortunate reality. As a tourist, assume you do not have the right of way, and usually you'll be right. <laughs> Even bicycles have the right of way, especially when they're going faster than you. They do not have to stop at the speed bumps, there are gaps for them, but the little golf carts, they gotta stop. Oh my, look at that trademark infringement, the Ambergris Key K Mart. <laughs> It's always worth the trip in just to look at these kinds of places. The police and fire departments are down here on the right if you need them. You can't miss them. They're very brightly colored. Along here are other small vendors and, uh, and then you get into the resort zone. Behind that wall lurks the Phoenix, one of the newer hotels. Uh, from the beach side, it's a very nice looking hotel, but not quite what we like to stay at. I think we're still going to agree that our favorite place on Ambergris Key is Belizean Shores. It's just a warm and family type place that we felt welcomed and 
at home the first time we arrived. When you drive into town, make sure you know which street you're on. The front one goes one way, the middle one goes the other way, the back one goes both ways. Like I say, you gotta pay attention. They had a stop sign, you can see it right there, but nah, they didn't stop. And they're local, so they know the rules. Great big sign on the left there, uh, there you go, just came back into frame, says Carumba's, really good food there. They have new parking police now, so uh, 20 feet to every corner they've painted red. Pay attention or you'll be paying a fine. I know I did. Of course, I didn't get the parking ticket. I was rolled into it. You're all going, yeah, yeah, how'd that happen? Well, parking is tight, and the guy at Caramba said, you park here and everything will be fine, and he rolled us back, so we were into the normal parking zone. But we were close to the guy behind us, and I'm sure that when that guy came out after dinner, he decided that we were too close, and he rolled us forward so he could get out. We were now in the red zone. That was all it took. There's Elvis. Now there's a place to eat. Not Elvis. Elvis. LV. And it's her place. Elvis Kitchen. So yeah. We got the parking ticket. Like it's a big deal. It's 12 US. And you pay it to your hotel and they have one of the people coming into town pay the ticket for you. And you better pay your parking ticket or they won't let you off the island. A lot of new paint in this part of town this year. It's nice to see all the gay colors. It's always a happy place. One of the local artists is over there on the sidewalk working. Yes, we actually stop at the stop sign. Oh, that's right, we're Canadians and tourists. <laughs> On the left-hand side is the school property, and you don't want to be speeding through there. The airport's now on our right, and there's a few banks in here, and the uh, sort of department store on the island is here, wings on the left. And just on the other side, there are a few more resorts. Uh, Ramones, Pedro's in, uh, oh, Victoria House, uh, all kinds of places um, down this end of town as well. We'll drive down to the lagoon and show you what's down there, but past the lagoon is pretty much private houses uh, and rental units, so. There is also Marco Gonzalez, an archaeology site that is there. It's small, but it's uh, a real site. It's still interesting to go down and have a look at. There's Ramones on the left. That's There's quite a big place. Airport. Once you get past Victoria House, there's really not much but the lagoon, and they claim there's crocodiles, but I've never seen one. I've been there several times, and I have never seen a crocodile there. So that's it for the drive down through San Pedro. Watch for the next video, which will be on Licks, one of the beachside restaurants owned by a friend of ours, Mario. And uh, the food's good, so try them. <laughs>